Hello everybody and welcome to another video. I think you clicked on this video to figure out if Forza Horizon 5's Ultimate Edition is actually worth it. And I give you a short answer. Yes, it definitely is. The reason why I think it's worth it is because if you're a Forza Horizon fan like me and you want to get all the cars eventually and you want to not have to worry about DLC down the line, this is probably the best bang for your buck. If you don't get the Ultimate Edition, you'll have to pay for each individual DLC that comes out and you'll actually be shelling out a lot more money than expected. With an extra $40 added to the $60 price tags, you're spending $100 for everything including the car pass, the multiple DLCs, and I believe the VIP pass but i'm not sure if they did it the same way they did it in two and three in forza horizon 5 they brought back a lot of the old fan favorite things to do with added twists i personally have only played about an hour or two of this game but i want to say straight off the bat i already love it and the new changes that they added to the showcases and how you collect cars and then get rewarded for having every car in that particular group slash manufacturer uh, is pretty freaking sick and it's totally worth it down the line. Bringing back the old style Forza Horizon 2, I noticed the layout looks well, familiar if you're a prior uh, Forza Horizon fan and played a couple before. I love the style of this game and the mechanics and the driving and everything feels a lot more smooth. One of the best things about this game is that it's well optimized and works pretty well for lower end computers or maybe lower to mid range computers. Now the questions that people may have is, do you get all the cars right away? Yes but you do need to play a few first missions. And after you get your house in the game, you unlock all the cars. You should have everything at that point. You should be able to go into the auctions, be able to unlock and do everything. And that leaves you open ring to do anything you want. No, you do not have to purchase the cars with in-game credits. You are automatically given them, except for whenever you go to the car pass, you need to actually click on the individual cars from the car pass and then buy them but they will be free the first time you buy them after that they will cost the regular amount of money for some goofy reason you do get an outfit and an emote from i believe pre-ordering the game or something i it was in the mix in with the ultimate edition so i'm not 100 certain where that came from but i you do get it also one last thing if you get this game through game pass on your pc or on your xbox it will not include the ultimate edition stuff like the car pass and all the other extra DLCs. You have to buy that separate, which will actually cost you a lot more money down the line. So like I said again before, if you if you really like Forza Horizon and this one is really fun after recording this, I've actually played for six hours now. Um, a little bit of time has passed. If you enjoy Forza Horizon, you don't want to have to worry about DLC and spending a lot of money to get cars that you want. I highly recommend the ultimate edition. And the last thing to end off on this video is when you get the Ultimate Edition pre-ordered, you're able to play the game four days earlier than everybody else. So I highly recommend if you guys are true Forza Horizon fans and you want to get out there and start driving in a new world in Mexico, I recommend getting the Ultimate Edition and go have some fun. I absolutely am, and I hope you guys do too. Have a good one. Peace.